Hey, boss. Come take a look at this. The poor soul. Or maybe not so poor, judging by these clothes. Hey, Pa! Remember what I said about that reward money? Of course I do. This might just be him. Take a look at this! Shiny ring, huh? Is that uh, the royal emblem? This has got to be Prince Roland! The corpse is regrettably too damaged to identify. But the royal signet is unmistakable. Aside from Cordelia, there is only one who would wear the royal family's ring. There can be no doubt, this is Prince Roland. S -s Excuse me, your grace, uh, but about that reward... Thalas, give them their coin. Yes, brother. Thank you kindly for your generosity, your grace. What a waste. Is this truly how the Kingdom of Glenbrook meets its end? House Wolfort are no fools. Their friend was only a liability. They have spared themselves by forsaking the Prince. They may have escaped, but there are none who would help them. There is no reason for us to concern ourselves with House Wolfort any longer. A shame. Your poor brother, betrayed by his most trusted friend. Oh, Roland. The news of Prince Roland's death spreads across the land like wildfire. With his demise, seemingly comes the end of the Kingdom of Glenbrook. But only days later, a proclamation is made that would bind Esfrost and Glenbrook. Bearer of the Royal Signet and last heir to the throne of Glenbrook, Cordelia is to ascend as Queen. and wed Archduke Gustadolf. Princess Cordelia is to wed the Archduke? What is the meaning of this? Gustadolf is the very one who invaded Glenbrook. But King Regna is to blame for trying to monopolize the mines. What does it matter who the princess weds as long as Glenbrook lives on? It damn well matters to me. My people. Our days of late have been dark and filled with strife. Both Glenbrook and Esfros have suffered countless losses. And we have lost both of our beloved princes. For that, I offer you my deepest condolences. May they all rest in peace. As you all know, my father was sentenced to death for his role in this tragic event. But how do we come to grips with our sorrow and anger? How do we atone for our mistakes? Esfros does not deserve your forgiveness! Do not submit to Gustadolf's will! 
Let us recognize our sins as such and move forward. Archduke Gustadolf has magnanimously given us another chance. A chance to see Glenbrook to a fair and free future. As the queen of this kingdom, I, Cordelia of House Glenbrook, do hereby accept the warmth and governance of Esfrost, and swear to do everything in my power to usher in an age of peace with the Archduke. With all due respect, sir, I do not believe Queen Cordelia to be fit for ruling Glenbrook. She does not need to be. She is to be our figurehead, a place for the people to focus both their hope and discontent. And while the poor people of Glenbrook stumble in the dark, we shall establish a new government, one based in freedom. Once the people have had a taste of true freedom Esfrost would offer them, there will be no turning back. By the time Cordelia births an heir, both this kingdom and its people will belong solely to Esfrost. I would be loath to stand upon a political battlefield. It is far more heartless than those of war. I am simply breathing new life into a kingdom of tired traditions. The people will thank me for it in time. Much better. Only because I've had you to train with. And how far behind would I be without Sir Maxwell's tutelage? The Dawnspear himself is my personal mentor. And still you're all but my equal. It's been a while since we last sparred. It takes time to adapt to a new opponent. Perhaps so. Anyhow, I always enjoy our skirmishes. No better way to clear my head after another quarrel with father. Must all three nations be part of this mining venture? I've yet to hear convincing argument as to why. You do not hear because you do not listen. Hyzant offers nothing but a sliver of their vast riches. Something we could easily do without. I understand the advantage of involving Esfrost. Their expertise speeds things along immeasurably. But Hyzant, have you at least demanded they lower the taxes on salt? Such a change would be welcomed by our subjects and enrich their daily lives. We cannot concede everything while gaining naught in return. Surely you see this, father. It has been decided, and I will hear no more. You presume upon matters you do not comprehend. But father, I'm just... Now, Roland, if there is nothing else, pray leave me be. I have more important matters to attend to. Yes, father. If only I had found the right words. If only I had kept my emotions in check. Perhaps things would have ended differently. Blaming yourself for past mistakes will lead you nowhere. You must look forward for the opportunities ahead. Of course. And I trust you'll be at my side come that time. Just as House Wolford stands with the crown, I stand with you. 
I am fortunate to have as loyal a friend as you. As am I. Ah, enough sentimentality. Raise your spear so I can knock it down. You're welcome to try, my friend. Prince Roland, have you heard about the address at the capital? I have. I won't forgive him for making Her Highness say such horrible things. Enough, Hewitt. But they lied about the King's death. They made it seem like Gustadoff was justified. Say no more. If Cordelia can endure this, so can we. And as long as she lives, that is enough for me. Forgive me, Your Highness. We all understand how you feel, Prince Roland. No, I apologize. I lost control. Thinking about it will do us no good. We must rise to action. Indeed we must. Everyone knows of your death now. That means we are free to make our next move. Listen, my friends. Prince Roland of Glenbrook is dead. I am now merely Roland, a warrior who fled a fallen kingdom. I humbly ask for your support until the sun shines upon our royal line once again. Is that Sir Maxwell's? That mask... You look just like Sir Maxwell. This is a secret that shall stay within House Wolford. Master, grant me the strength to free our home from Esfrost's clutches. How is he doing? Better than before. He groans in pain from time to time, though. I see. I wish I could tell Father about our situation now, but... Lord Serenoa, if your father were awake, I am certain he would praise you for safeguarding Wolfort. <sighs> Sad to say, the real trouble is only just beginning. I'll be damned if House End's protection comes for free. No doubt the longer we stay, the steeper the price. Precisely. Minister Sorsley is not an altruistic soul. If you were in his shoes, what would you do? I would squeeze us dry, then look for an opportunity to. But we won't let that happen. Of course not. Anna is already on the move. It is our duty to protect and guide this house. This heart ain't changed since the day Lord Simon took me in, lad. I'm ready to put my life on the line for this house. We'll get past this, one way or another. You'll see. Thank you so much, both of you. Farag, the body of Lord Dragan is... So my son has finally returned home. I will be there soon. Is something the matter? I think it better not to look, my lord. And... And why is that? His face... There is no vestige of the handsome lad he once was. Oh. Oh, my son. 
I understand. You are dismissed. I am so sorry, my boy. Please forgive your pitiful excuse for a father. I will find the one who did this to you. I swear it. I see. So there is an illicit salt trade held outside the auspices of the Norzelia Consortium. In this business, you cannot avoid rumors even if you try. They say sneaking under the Consortium's nose is well worth the risk, but I am not so bold. And who is behind all this? I wish I could say. I am not asking you to tell me for free. How generous of you. It's but a rumor, of course, but they say none other than Minister End in Hyzant is pulling the strings. And some free advice for you, my friend? You'd do well not to get involved. Why? I'm afraid that will cost a separate fee. <laughs> Why, thank you. To work. You aren't the only one who's thirsty. No setbacks, I presume? None, sir. We are already well ahead of schedule. Splendid. The ledger, if you would. Yes, sir. I would hate for there to be a problem with our numbers. I will hold on to this for now. Of course, sir. Water! Put the poor thing out of its misery, Booker. <laughs> you must be firm with the Roselle. Show them the slightest mercy, and they'll think they deserve more. Yes, sir! <laughs> 